Darlington initially was a linen town, one of the biggest producers of linen in Europe, um, but then uh, particularly the Quaker families that ruled the place, the Pises and the Backhouses, took their money out of linen and moved it into the new technology at the start of the 19th century. And this was particularly railways. Darlington is the birthplace of the railways. The world's first publicly owned steam power passenger railway was uh, brainchilded here in Darlington. Incredibly innovative, incredibly brave. No one had ever done this on this sort of scale before, on the industrial scale joining coal fields with the sea, running through Darlington. Darlington's a great smallish town with a big heart. A really unusual offering of both um, national stores, department stores and also a wealth of independent businesses that offer a really diverse selection of places to shop. The implementation of the Business Improvement District is a scheme that's been set up by central government to allow towns to implement a levy system on businesses. Money that we raise is spent on projects to enhance the town centre. Darlington Cumberland Market is in the centre of the town and it's actually a jewel in the crown. It's right in the heart of the town centre, wonderful clock tower on one side of it, a very, very old town hall on the other side of it, and the market itself is as it was 150 years ago. It's still a fantastic place, still trading very, very well indeed. It's just been the 150th anniversary of the indoor market, and to coincide with that, we also have the 60th anniversary of our town twin and links with Mulheim and der Ruhr in Germany and Amion in France. Boudoir is located in the Grange Road area of Darlington, which is um, a street that has lots of designer shops. People will come here because we are offering different to any town centre. We've been here in Duke Street for uh, 16 years. A lot of people that live in the town use Duke Street and walk into the town centre past our windows. The street has a buzz. It's only a small street, but it uh, packs a punch. Every single Tuesday morning, me and Morgan come swimming at the Dolphin Centre. It's absolutely brilliant. There's lots of facilities here. There's a soft play, there's the bistro upstairs, there's the gym, there's all the classes. They've got loads here and it's absolutely, it's a brilliant facility. It's just in the town centre. It's two minutes away from my house. Just walk straight down into town and there it is. There's a large range of sporting and leisure facilities in the Darlington area. including this fantastic 18-hole championship golf course here at Rockcliffe Hall. We're in Head of Steam. This is the Railway Museum for Darlington and it used to be Darlington's railway station. And we're stood in front of Locomotion No. 1, which is the first engine to run on the Stockton and Darlington railway line and was driven by George Stevenson himself on the opening day. We are very lucky to have this engine in Darlington. It's a very special locomotive and people come from all over the world to see it. It's a really excellent space for the community and for other people to learn about the history of the railways and Darlington. There's a whole host of options for people who want to commute into Darlington, be it by bus, rail, walking, cycling. Arriva have just introduced 11 new gas buses to the town, um, which represents an investment of around 2.2 million. It's easy for people to cycle across the town in about half an hour, and then many households are within a, a half an hour walk of the town centre as well. The development's called West Park, which was, uh, I guess, a bit obvious, um, there being a North Park and a South Park in Darlington already, but uh, the scheme comprises say, about seven, eight hundred new, uh, new homes right across the range from one, two bed apartments through to four, five bedroom family homes, including affordable housing, low cost housing, shared ownership, all around the heart of the development, which is, say, is the, uh, the new village and the, and the park. Arabia Hunt is situated just outside of Darlington. We're a bit of a destination as well because we're just in the countryside. 
for Chef to get a Michelin star is probably the, the main thing that they probably strive to get through their careers and um, to get noticed in Darlington was amazing because you know sometimes you do think whether the guidebook's going to make the journey up this far north but it just shows that you know they're on the lookout and they notice it and um, it's great for the Darlington area. Darlington is a town that has always had ambition. Ever since we built the world's first passenger railway to the present time, we have ambition. It's a great place to locate your business, a great place to bring your family, and a wonderful place to live. I'm proud to have been born here and to have lived here all my life. We've got some fantastic outdoor space, some great venues, lots of things to do on your doorstep. heritage for, for hard work, for innovation, for discovery. Ingenuity and pioneering, uh, forward thinking, I'm still here in Darlington today. It is magical, it is an experience, it's vibrant, it's got a lot to show, a lot to see. Quality of life is great. Darlington is, is very well connected. And that connectivity is a, is a lifeblood for commerce. The more you travel, you realise that it is actually a special place. Downton is definitely my, my adopted home. This is where I, I now spend most of my time. And um, I, I just love it. Anyone looking to relocate can have confidence that it's going to be a great place for them to put their business and get the people they need to make it work. Business decisions aren't just about, is the site right? They're also about, what are the schools like? What's the environment like? What are people like? And I think in that context, Darlington's got an awful lot to offer. <laughs>